Sota, Perak Zion Mishnah Dalit, fourth Mishnah, seventh chapter of Sota. We're in the middle of explaining the different halachot that must of, of texts that must be recited in Lashon Hakodesh. And so the next one we learned is Chalitza. This is all in Zion Mishnah Bet. Okay, number one we learned was Mikra Bikurim. And now we're on to Chalitza. Chalitza has to be said, Belashon Hakodesh. So how do you know? Ketzad. How do you know the Mishnah says Chalitza Ketzad, meaning from where do you know? Because it says, Ve'anta Ve'amra. Let's go to the, let's go to the Psukim. Okay, this is from Vayikra Pere Chav, Chav, Chav He, 25. Okay, and it says, um, this is the story of Chalitza. Meit Echad Mehem Uben Einlo. He doesn't have a child. Okay, he has, the brother has to marry. You can uh, look it up in Vayikra Chav He. Okay, so the, color, the guy doesn't want to do it. The Karlo Zignei wrote, V'dibru Elav Ve'amar Ve'amar. The guy stands up and says, I don't want to take her. And she approaches in the eyes of the elders. She takes off his shoe and she spits before him. Now we have this unusual language. And she, she shall answer and say, I mean, she raises her voice, she should say, This is what we do to the person who does not, who does not build the house of his brother. So again, we have this va'anta, this unusual language. Let's go back to the Mishnah. Okay? Ve'anta ve'amra. Halan omer ve'anu alivim ve'amru. We learned in the last Mishnah, ve'anu alivim ve'amru. The, the levim should respond, raise their voice and say. And we learned in the last Mishnah that that was Lashon HaKodesh. Ma'an ya'amru al-lashon l'halam l'lashon HaKodesh. Just like we learned in the levim when they, they say the, the klalot, anarik, v'zim arival. It must be l'lashon HaKodesh. Afkam Lashon Hakodesh. Great, you're also a must be Lashon Hakodesh from Aniyah, from Ve'anta. Rabbi Yudah, Rabbi Yudah says, no, you don't need even Ve'anta Ve'amra. Ve'amta Ve'amra, Kacha. Okay, look at the Pasuk again. Let's go back to uh, the Pasuk. Ve'anta Ve'amra, Kacha Yaseh Le'ish. So you can read it one of two ways. She, she should answer, she raises her voice and says, this is what should happen to a person. Rabbi Yudah says, you can read it another way. Ve'anta Ve'amra Kacha. And she should re- re- answer and say like this. You learn from the Pasuk. She should say like this. She should say kacha. Just like it says in the Pasuk, i.e., she has to say it. In Lashon HaKodesh in Hebrew. Well, then again, I learned to remember my father, Harav Simcha Be'yitzra Kalman.